Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be decorating the Christmas tree. And I'm gonna give you guys my four tips that I use to decorate every tree every year that takes my tree from looking like blah to something that is pretty cute and adorable. So a few years back, we started using faux trees. But even before I use the faux tree, I always use these four steps to get my tree from looking plain like the one that's behind us to looking so cute. Whatever theme, color scheme, whatever you are doing, these four tips will work. So I hope you guys like this video, grab a coffee, and let's get decorating. Step one is adding in picks. That could be greenery or poinsettias like these are. I picked these up from Hobby Lobby and this tree is pretty skinny and small as you can see. So I'm only gonna add four picks in the tree. Um, like I said, it could be greenery, it could be pine cones, whatever you think will complement the style that you are trying to go for the tree. I am going for a woodland theme for this tree. So lots of white, lots of natural um, color tones. I'm gonna be using burlap, snowflakes, and then I'm gonna spice it up with a few snowman and a little bit of silver for this tree. So first, put in your picks. I like to put in my picks anywhere I see that there's a hole, and I like to go in a zigzag formation. So my first pick, I'm gonna stick up here. They give it dimension and they add a little extra oomph to it. So next, after I do my picks, so you could choose a ton of picks or very few like I did with this tree. After I do my picks, I'm gonna go in with my burlap. And I picked up some burlap ribbon from Walmart. I had this last year. Um, my tip with the ribbon is to make sure that it has the wire in it so you can manipulate it any way that you need to. I cut my ribbon in small strips like this to make it go a long way. There's no sense in wasting ribbon and wrapping it around the whole tree when you're only gonna see a portion of it. So I pre-cut my ribbon and I'm gonna show you guys how I put it in. So my tip with the ribbon, I try to nestle it in there so that the ends aren't showing. My ribbon, I tend to coordinate either with my ornaments or choose something that will pop the color of the ornament. Since this is a really neutral tree and I have browns and white, I just went with a burlap because it added a different texture. And then I like the look of it with the other ornaments that I was using. So as you can see, the ribbon is in. Um, if you, of course, are going to be seeing the whole tree, make sure you do the whole tree. But since my back is against a wall, you're not gonna be seeing that. So let me give you an up close look, but I kind of zhuzhed it in where I thought it needed to be. And then as you can see, and I just noticed I have a few holes. Next, I'm gonna go in with my largest ornaments and I'm gonna place those just so. So like I said, the colors that I'm using, I picked up these little woodland theme ornaments and they're kind of like a like textured. And then these, they were so inexpensive. These came in a box, I think there were $2 for like 20, I wanna say, and the same things thing for these. So now I'm gonna go in with my ornaments. These are the larger ones and I'm gonna place them just so. And then I will go in with my snowflakes and then the piece de resistance, I will go in with my bulbs. So we are on step three, placement of ornaments.
ornaments are on. We have the ribbon and we have them scattered this just throughout and our picks. Lastly, you're gonna go in with your topper. So I rarely ever use a star as a topper. I just have never been a huge fan of a star. I often make my own bows. So I'm debating with using this little burlap bow I made, or I have a silver one that is somewhere around here that I'm gonna grab. So one of those bows are the bow, is the bow that I'm gonna choose, and that's kind of your last ta-da. Last but not least is the edit. So maybe you've added something and now that I'm looking, I feel like the tree is a little bit too busy. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna edit a few things. I did not add the silver bow, so I'm gonna take out the silver. And I think I am going to add in more white and just edit a little bit. So this is a bonus tip. It wasn't part of the four, but I'm not loving it, so I'm gonna edit just a little bit. And it's okay, we are human. Sometimes we do things and we quite don't like them. So let me go in and do that. Sometimes the simplest things are the most beautiful. So just a simple DIY bow that I made, that burlap um, ribbon, those simple white poinsettias, and those gorgeous, simple woodland animals. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.